updates to asteroid apophis 99942 ladies and gentlemen buckle up because it might get bumpy from the university of hawaii news massive asteroid subject of new finding asteroid apophis 99942 is a neo near earth object that will approach closer to earth than many satellites in geocentric orbit now this asteroid was initially discovered in 2004 and projections showed there was a possible chance it would hit earth hence the name apophis if you don't know what the god of apophis is in ancient egypt the god of apophis is the god of darkness and chaos and the enemy of ra so very interesting mythology but i want to share with you some information on a study done by the university of hawaii the institute for astronomy they have revealed critical new findings linked to this asteroid that is expected to pass extremely close to earth so i wanted to give you a quick update I got this about four months ago. I plugged it in. This is the exact one I got. I just unplugged it for a minute. And I don't know how exactly it works, but it does. I save money with this device. It's about the size of a garage door opener. You plug it in, the green light turns on, you save money. It quickly and easily stabilizes your home's electrical current. It reduces harmful, dirty electricity from your home, and it protects and prolongs the life of your appliances and your electronics. It works in houses, apartments, and offices. And you can even receive a hundred dollar utility rebate certificate. Go to don'twastepower.com. Tons of five star reviews. Get yours. You'll be glad you did. Save up to sixty five percent and always complimentary shipping with your order. Go to don'twastepower.com. And let's get back to the presentation. Dave Folan and collaborators have announced the detection of Yarkovsky acceleration. Now, what Yarkovsky acceleration is? is from the sunlight. It's a force that acts on rotating bodies in space caused by the emission of thermal photons, which carry momentum. The effect is most significant for meteors and asteroids. The Yarkovsky effect is named after a 19th century Russian engineer who first proposed the idea. The effect occurs when a small rocky space object absorbs sunlight and then re-emits that energy as heat. This creates a slight push that can noticeably nudge the object's orbit over long periods of time. Now, this is from the European Space Agency. This is the orbit of Apophis, but this needs to be updated, especially after the latest findings. And we're going to get back to that article in a minute. But this shows the near-Earth orbit of Apophis and Earth in 2029. Now, the Apophis will get to its closest point Friday the 13th of all days, Friday the 13th, 2029 in April. Apophis is massive in size. It's enormous. And remember, Osiris Rex and Osiris Rex spacecraft traveled to asteroid Bennu, picked up a sample, brought it back, dropped it off, and now it's heading towards Apophis for research purposes. This is the spacecraft in launch configuration, as you can see right here. OSIRIS-REx in launch configuration. Let's zoom in on this a little bit. I wonder what kind of payloads they can get with this. Like what else can they drop on an asteroid? Are they gonna drop some type of tactical nuke if they think it's gonna get too close? Are they gonna figure out a way to move it? Are they holding back certain information so that they don't scare the public? I mean, clearly this is all in the realm of speculation. It does appear that it can drop payloads of a certain weight though, because that's what it's done already on Bennu. And then this was the sample capsule dropped back to earth and it took them weeks to open it up. I find it very interesting, the 2030 UN agenda for sustainable living. Now, I'm all for getting rid of poverty, getting rid of homelessness, getting rid of hunger, getting rid of poverty in all forms. I think that that's great. And if that's the true agenda, then hey, 
more power to you. However, at what cost? And you got to be very careful with the verbiage and who controls these agendas. So be prepared, not scared. But the reason I'm bringing this up is, was something discovered that is going to take place around 2030 that caused enough I don't know, not necessarily concerned, but like it created an atmosphere where the energy, the mindset is now we have to have certain precautionary measures in place at a certain time before 2030 because of an event that might or might not take place. 2030 is a very powerful year. And around that time frame, even in films like Blade Runner 2047, I think that 2027 or somewhere around there is a specific date that is mentioned as a solar flare happens, wipes out the majority of digital information, and they have to rebuild and collect what's left over, basically. 2030, 2030, Apophis. Apophis, listen to this. Near-Earth asteroid, potentially hazardous object, a diameter of 1,210 feet. That's 370 meters. Now, this did cause a period of concern back in December of 2004. Initial, observa initial observations indicated a probability of up to 2.7% that it would hit Earth on Friday the 13th, 2029. Additional observations provided improved predictions that eliminated the possibility, they say, of an impact on Earth in 2029. Now, with this in mind, there are additional flybys, and let's go back to the main article. So let's get back to this latest article from hawaii.edu, the University of Hawaii Institute for Astronomy. They did see, they did they do observe Yarkovsky acceleration and all asteroids need to re-radiate as heat, the energy they absorb from sunlight in order to maintain thermal equilibrium. This is talking about the uh, Yarkovsky effect. Yarkovsky effect. <laughs> Arpophis, Apophis is noteworthy because of its extremely close approach to the Earth Friday the 13th, 2029 in April. It's going to become visible to the unaided eye as it passes within the belt of communication satellites orbiting the Earth. And with this information, they really need to update this on the daily as much as they can because it's going to continue to change course, accelerate, etc., because of the amount of radiation and cosmic rays that it's collecting. We have known for some time that an impact with Earth is not possible during the 2029 close approach, they say, AKA Tholen says, who has been accurately tracking the motion of Apophis in the sky since his team discovered it in 2004. The new observations we obtained with the Subaru telescope earlier this year were good enough to reveal the Yarkovsky acceleration of Apophis, and they show that the asteroid is drifting away from a purely gravitational orbit by about 170 meters per year, which is enough to keep the 2068 impact scenario in play. Hmm. The orbit calculations were performed by David Farnochia of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, who is a co-author of the paper that was presented at the 2020 virtual meeting of the Division for Planetary Sciences of the American Astronomical Society. Further observations to refine the amplitude of the Yarkovsky effect and how it affects Apophis orbit are underway. Astronomers will know well before 2068 if there is any chance of an impact. That is substantial. I mean, it is massive. And it's going to continue to change course. And my question to you is, would they tell us 
if they knew there was going to be an impact in 2029, would they tell the public and should they tell the public? I want to get your thoughts on that in the comments section. I hope to see you soon. Check back daily for new content. Even if you don't get notifications, check back daily because there will probably be a new podcast and we're uploading exclusive content on Patreon and leakproject.com. Have a beautiful day. Be excellent to each other. And be the change you want to see. There's a premiere right now getting ready to start.